scientists putting on display what they claim are the remains of two extraterrestrials. And ultimately, they stumble across this strange three-foot creature. It was missing a limb. It had a sort of a dark grayish skin color, no hair or, or sort of noticeable facial features to recognize. I backed and forth until I found it. And then that's what it showed me. And I showed my son, he's like, got these tears coming to his eyes. There's no way. For decades, we've been hearing about extraterrestrial creatures stepping on Earth, stories of spooky encounters, and even aliens being held against their will. But we never really had any proof. Until now, these spooky alien encounters will blow your mind. <laughs> Ten years ago, an alien was captured by government officials who tried to interview it, but it all came out sounding like gibberish. Now, although it does sound like pure gibberish, it's obviously a language we may never be able to master. It looks like the alien is capable of communicating to its fellow creatures telepathically, or is connected to them some way or another. It's probably trying to signal the rest of its fleet to fly back home, or rescue it. Since there isn't really any update to this, we can only imagine what might have happened. Xeno remains. With a raspy breath, a man tried to calm his nerves. The man had been hiking in a forest in Poland and couldn't help but notice this white creature, which had clearly met its fate a couple of days ago and was left to the mercy of Mother Nature. The alien creature had a weird pudgy skull, glistening skeleton with marks on its shoulders and arms, as if it was some sort of tattoo etched on his bones forever. The hiker quickly retreated, but once the video surfaced, Many experts believed he may have encountered an alien that had recently crashed after a UFO had been spotted in the area. The DNI Alien The aliens eliminated microbial and viral life from their own ecosystem. In 1997, a whistleblower of the DNI, the Department of Naval Intelligence of the United States, released a video of an interview with an alien being that it allegedly had captured in 1991. The he revealed the alien belonged to a special species called the Grey, and was sensitive to light, which is why the room was so dark. The whistleblower revealed these aliens were being kept in Area 51 behind a protective chamber because they were in danger of catching human diseases, so the DNI kept them safe. In this interview, DNI workers are trying to get the alien to talk, but it becomes unresponsive and the video cuts. This video has never been debunked. I'm sorry. It's very hard for me to watch this. Strange Recovery This might just be the oldest proof out there. This alien was captured and brought into Area 51, where it subsequently passed out and was handed to the medical staff. It is believed the alien might be a grey, a species allergic to light. It's possible the government didn't know this and accidentally hurt the alien, which is why the staff is so desperate to heal it. Skinny Bob Meet Skinny Bob, the extraterrestrial believed to be from the Zeta star system, which crash-landed on Earth somewhere in 1949. It was immediately apprehended by the authorities, who took mugshots and even kept the alien in a secret facility. For decades, no one knew about Skinny Bob until 11 years ago, when a whistleblower named Victor leaked this video. Skinny Bob is believed to belong to a highly intelligent species, the Greys, which Victor revealed was being held against its will by the KGB. It is believed Skinny Bob allegedly passed away in captivity about five years after the video leak. But who knows if that's true. Skinny 
Bones of Terror. A hiker recently came across a skeleton that's got me really thinking. At first glance, it's hard to figure out exactly what we're looking at here. Some folks think it might have come from way beyond the stars, thanks to its unique, almost eerie appearance. It's got slightly humanoid bones, but skin that's like leather, something you don't see every day. It's tough to say if this is just an animal we know, looking different in decay, or something entirely new to us. It seems this creature's journey ended here on Earth, leaving us with more questions than answers about its origins and what its last days might have been like. Galactic Invader So I ask you again, how was the universe created? In 2017, U.S. government officials were left rattled after an alien creature visited them, claiming to be a descendant of humans from the future. Almost immediately captured by the government, the alien was taken to a secret site where it was tied up to be safely interviewed. During this, it clarified that its lineage had begun from us, but it had evolved enough that it could no longer reproduce with humans and was a separate species. This explains its alien looks and why it speaks English. The alien went on to warn us of an alien invasion, so we might just find out the truth in a couple of years. Now, how do you speak English? Ancient Grey Alien In one of the oldest alien videos, one seems to be making a run for it after it noticed itself being recorded. The cameraman, believed to be a hiker testing out his new gadget, runs after him, but finds nothing. Creepy, isn't it? The Roswell Incident In 1947, after debris following a crash was discovered near Roswell, New Mexico, the U.S. Army at the time claimed it belonged to a UFO, but later retracted their statement. Yet, the Roswell UFO theory has always stood strong becoming even more believable after an anonymous whistleblower revealed the video of a medical examination being conducted on an alien discovered from the Roswell UFO. This was proof that the aliens Earth has been receiving aren't just toys or crazy fake conspiracies. They're very much real, like us, and are probably walking among us to this day, hidden from our eyes. Mexican Doppelganger This alien was supposedly found lifeless somewhere in the dry forests in Yucatan, Mexico. Judging by the looks, the alien got stranded on Earth after a failed launch and eventually passed away due to lack of food. Now, that's a crazy theory, I know. But what else do we have? It's also remarkably suspicious that although we've got this on video, the uploader mysteriously vanished off the face of the Earth. I'm starting to believe the government has always known about these creatures, but didn't want us to know. So it kept on apprehending any people who found them out. Peruvian Alien In 2008, a UFO came hurtling to the Earth somewhere in Peru. But just as locals rushed to the site, they found nothing but barren land. The UFO and its inhabitants had vanished, as if taken unwillingly. Little did they know, just a few weeks later, in a chamber a few miles away from the crash site, an alien body would appear, having mysteriously passed away. It is believed the alien was caught while it was trying to escape its crash site, and the authorities brought it to a secret facility where it succumbed to their tests. Although the location of the Peruvian mummy is still unknown, at least we've got this leaked footage to clue us in. Quebec Extraterrestrial A few years ago, a YouTuber uploaded this video of proof of an alien that had crashed somewhere in Quebec, Canada, and was silently collected by the authorities. According to him, the alien was originally found by a snowmobiler, who realized the alien had passed away and took photos before he notified the authorities. 
Just as expected, when they got wind of the situation, the Quebec alien mysteriously vanished and was never heard from again. Although we've got the proof now, it isn't enough. Only because we can never know what species it was, or where this alien is today. Forest Phantom After seeking a glint across the night sky in the forest, a man quickly decided to investigate and found something large and metallic embedded in the soil. It seemed like it was a part of a spaceship which had crashed earlier. Freaked out of his mind, the man was trying to make sense of the discovery when he heard rustling behind him and captured a strange white being looking back at him. The man tried to chase it, but because of the darkness and the dense trees, the alien escaped. When he returned to the morning, the metallic part was nowhere to be found. Brazilian Creep In October 2011, a Brazilian homeowner's dog kept him awake at night, warning him of a potential threat nearby. This is what he found in the morning, lying lifelessly in his backyard. The creature had large beady eyes and an extremely long and thin body with weirdly short arms. Its mouth was agape, as if it was frozen in shock. The man assumed whatever this creature was, it had encountered something unexpected and passed out from the shock. The scary thing is, if creatures like this are ending up in such a miserable condition, what kind of creature are they seeing? And is it still walking among us? Locked up. Who says aliens are just starting to appear? It seems we've actually held on to a couple that visited decades ago. This tiny alien was being kept up in a small jar in a secret facility in the US. As you can pretty much tell by its condition, it's been preserved for quite some time now. And looky here, a tag that says confidential. That's a big clue that whatever this creature is, it wasn't supposed to be seen. So whoever released this video is probably going to get into a lot of trouble. Tomb Findings An anonymous group that was raiding the Nazca Caves in Peru found several bodies of mysterious creatures, all with odd-shaped and thin, long appendages almost exactly like the aliens we've been seeing in movies. The raiders filmed their discovery and quickly ditched the site out of fear. They later returned, only to find out the area had been picked clean. With the mummies gone, no one knew what to expect until UFO researcher Jamie Mousen publicized the footage, in which, although the aliens look like they've passed away, a few keen-eyed viewers noticed their hands moving. So, they might have been alive all this time. Mausan even presented DNA evidence, but was ignored. But now, that evidence speaks volumes. Interspecies Handshake It's one thing to see aliens popping up, but another to see one casually talk to one of us like this happens every day. There's a lot of confusion and mystery surrounding this one. Because on one hand, it could be edited, on the other, I kinda looked into it and it doesn't really look to be the case. Plus, with all the strange things that we've been seeing, is an alien talking to a human really that far-fetched? At one point, the duo even shake hands. Now, I don't know what they're talking about, but I do hope it's the opposite of world domination. First Contact Imagine finding an alien in your house. In this video, a man encounters this strange creature somewhere in his closet, both clearly spooked at being discovered. The video cuts off too early for us to tell what happened, but based on everything so far, I've got a guess. The alien was quickly taken away by the authorities, and the man was strictly warned against revealing anything more. The Case of Jonathan Reed In October 1996, Jonathan Reed claimed he was hiking in the Cascade Mountains near Seattle, Washington. 
when his dog Susie ran ahead and started barking aggressively. When Reed caught up, he found his dog battling a small humanoid figure. Reed, in a state of panic and defense, struck the creature. The alien was about four feet tall, with large black eyes, and clearly fighting for its life. Reed took the alien to his home in hopes of nursing it, but the creature perished, leaving behind a distraught Reed. For decades, Reed maintained his story, but no one believed him until he finally uploaded this video online. With everything that's going on, he might have been telling the truth all along. CCTV Alien Our security cameras picked up the craziest thing, and one man's backyard CCTV camera captured a weird, ghoulish creature walking among the grass. The creature looked like it was hurt. Maybe it encountered some sort of wild animal, or was escaping. It rested against the tree and passed out. Unfortunately, the homeowner only noticed when he got back home, and by then, his backyard was empty, and the CCTV was busted. Laid Back Invader This is yet another look into the interview of an alien that had allegedly been roaming the Earth disguised as us but was captured by the US government when it had its guard down. The alien also picked up English, which is good, since we get nowhere otherwise. But the puzzling part? Like a few other aliens in captivity, this one also talked about the universe, and how there are multiple universes, almost saying word for word what a few others have before. Now, either this entire video has been doctored, or it's possible that there really is knowledge out there that our small human brains cannot understand. What made this molecular combination so special? <laughs> Area 51 Raiders. Now that we've seen it all, who can argue what Area 51 is holding back from us? Aliens are probably walking there right at this moment. In fact, this is exactly what's happening here. A group of aliens are probably from the same race as Skinny Bob. Just look at them. The resemblance is uncanny. I believe they're being transported from one section of the facility to another. And with how giant Area 51 is, that would be possible. Galactic Ghoul this is the alleged footage of an alien trying to regain its strength after being locked up for a couple of months. Its awkward stature suggests it may have been confined in a small cell, or it moves in an entirely different way and is trying to learn the ropes of how we walk. It is believed the alien was released back home, and judging by the quality, the video is several years old, so it might already be lounging on another planet. The Permafrost Creature just a few years before the Nazca mummies, a video of a couple of Russians stumbling upon a creepy alien body made its way to the internet. The alien was missing a leg and was embedded in the snow, suggesting that it might have passed away a few months ago and only surfaced due to the snow melting around it. As weird as it sounds, this creature resembled nothing like the aliens we've seen so far. It's far skinnier, and you can even see veins coursing its body. It's clear the alien belongs to an unknown species, and may have gotten stuck on Earth unexpectedly. Tridactyl's Last Breath in the late 90s, researchers exploring a Mexican citadel discovered a strange creature resting along a wall. Terrified, the explorers almost ran away, but stopped when they noticed the alien was hurt. They took the alien to an open corner of the citadel, recording the progress so they'd have proof. The alien seemed to be confused, not knowing how it ended up in this situation, which suggested it might have crash-landed a few hours ago and was still disoriented. 
It was called the Mexican Tridactyl because it only had three fingers and toes. As they continued recording, the alien shook with panic and then subsequently passed away. It is believed its body was buried somewhere within the Citadel, hidden forever. Cross-Sectional Mummy Ever since the Mexican government confirmed alien existence, and even presented the bodies as evidence, they've been conducting tests on them. And this is their latest find. The mummified body was discovered close to the Nazca Caves, and is believed to have been preserved some thousands of years ago. It's also a tridactyl, so it's not the only one of its kind. Missing its head, it's possible the specimen was purposefully buried this way. Maybe it was some sort of respect, or maybe just some bad luck. But researchers believe these aliens may have visited the Earth centuries ago, and eventually may have been outlived by the humans. EBE This is a gray alien that was recovered by explorers during a routine expedition in an undisclosed location in the US. The gray alien is patched up to a machine, supposedly because it's being used as a test subject by the government. The alien seemed to be in distress, clearly irritated at being in this position. A worker hidden from view seemed to be trying to calm it down, but the video ends before we can see any more. Pelicaris. A few months ago, the picture of a glowing alien being was uploaded on multiple social media platforms. At the time, no one knew what it was, just that it appeared in Peru and was dubbed the Pelicaris, or the Face Peeler. Just a couple of days ago, this video made its way online. It clearly depicts a glowing, almost burning creature in the woods. Initially mistaken as fire, it's easy to rule that out since the wood around it isn't igniting. Locals believe it is the same Pelagaris, but thankfully this wicked creature looked like it wasn't in the mood for confrontation and slowly disappeared from view. The Nazca Catalog It is believed that the reason we haven't found alien mummies consistently is because they've been discreetly distributed among private collectors any time they surfaced. Number 48 here is considered one of them. This alien mummy was either left behind by accident or pure luck. Although many believe it belongs to a pterodactyl species, its fingers and even toes are considerably long so it might just be its own species. It's giving us a lot of insight into the multiple species of extraterrestrials that have been visiting us for centuries. Well, with all that's coming up, who knows what else we'll find. Fisherman's Find in 1996, an anonymous Brazilian fisherman accidentally captured a giant creature in his net. Initially mistaking it as a mutated beluga, he quickly realized it wasn't something that belonged to Earth. The creature had long, thin legs, a scrawny body, and an oval head with beady eyes. It looked like it had passed away, so the fisherman quickly locked him in a giant creel. Since the video surfaced, neither the fisherman nor the alien have ever been found, prompting rumors that the duo might have been silenced by the authorities before they could publicize it. Clara Just a few days ago, a Redditor uploaded a photo of a weird, small alien creature he would found on the roof of their shed. Naturally, most people laughed at him, but just check this out. Jamie Mousen unveiled alien specimens that he had recovered under undisclosed circumstances. One of them, named Clara, is suspiciously similar to the one on the roof. Clara wasn't only just presented to the authorities, it also underwent extensive tests and scans to prove it wasn't just a bad prank. Amazingly, Clara was also wearing some sort of ring, suggesting wherever she, yeah, you heard that part right, wherever she came from, also celebrated occasions like us. So as spooky as they look, aliens may not be that strange. Seeing Red Ever wondered what kind of creature mans the cockpit of a UFO? 
It is believed a UFO landed on Earth a couple of years ago, and the being inside was in cahoots with the government, which eventually let it fly back off, but not before sneaking a device into the UFO. This is what the hidden camera was able to capture shortly before it cut off. Either the alien noticed it was being recorded, or maybe just flew out of its working range. Demonic Visitor For years, Rick Grabenik was telling his neighbors and friends about being haunted by a demonic, strange creature. But nobody believed him until he finally captured this. Rick has a net built around his patio to protect him from mosquitoes. And a camera positioned just outside caught a creepy, whitish creature slowly approaching the fence. Oh my god, there it is, Mike. It came back. The creature looked like it was trying to get inside, but was being barred from the fence. After staring at the camera for a few seconds, the demon disappeared, but gave Rick strong evidence of his story. This thing is looking weird. Oh my gosh. It, it knows something's going on, man. This thing is... Men in Black Aliens aren't just showing up in the forests, they're also popping up plain as day in regular settings. Just like this alien that suddenly entered an empty building in the US, which was being remodeled. Almost immediately, it noticed it was being recorded, but quickly dashed from view. It was later seen going back out. Now, I know it looks like a camera glitch, or some sort of editing. But it is very possible this alien is blessed with a speed the human mind can't even comprehend. Alien Criminal In 2008, reports of an alien being kept up in a locked safe house somewhere in the US emerged. It was believed the alien had ventured to Earth and was lurking close to a neighborhood when an officer on patrol captured it. The safe house had a CCTV camera that caught its every move. It looks like the alien wasn't expecting to be filmed. After throwing a mild tantrum, the alien retreated into a rocking position when the officer returned. The whereabouts of the safe house and the identity of the officer have never been revealed, so there's a chance this alien is still somewhere close to us. Pool Party Crasher Somewhere in Florida, a man recorded a ghoulish creature staring back at him from under the water. The curious man inched closer and noticed that it looked like an alien. But one that breathes underwater? That's strange, even by our standards. It means there's a whole world of aliens we don't know about. Now that's weird. Naturally, the man wanted to get close, but just as he moved, the alien disappeared. Shadow Saunter this creature was seen lurking somewhere in Turkey. It was luckily captured by a tourist who was exploring the area. It might have escaped from a testing site, or maybe it crash-landed here and is still trying to figure out what to do. Either way, it's certainly a spooky sight. Tiny Tim About seven months ago, a man noticed something lying on the side of the road. Curious, he picked it up and realized it was a tiny humanoid being, but one with small bones extending from its shoulder blade. He took it to the local PD, which rerouted it to a test site. Here, experts claim that as fake as it looked, the bones were very much real, and the ones extending at the back mean this tiny creature even had wings. A DNA analysis revealed it had some hints of known human DNA but not enough to make it one of our own. Vargina Monster In 1996, the town of Vargina, Brazil was abuzz with residents claiming they'd seen a strange humanoid creature. Skepticism initially greeted these reports until this video surfaced a few weeks later. It showed a bizarre humanoid figure, clearly distressed at having been found and trying to find a way out. You're probably wondering why it never went public, or if the alien was ever found. When locals returned to the spot of the sighting, they found it completely cleared out, with hardly anything left. Many believe the military cleaned up the area to hide its involvement. KGB Mummy 
In the early 1960s, a KGB expedition in Egypt uncovered a two-meter-tall mummy, much bigger in size than the ancient Egyptians. A scientist named Boris Demoyev did carbon-14 dating tests and found out this mummy was around 12,000 to 13,000 years old, suggesting it came even centuries before the Egyptians. Creepily enough, just around the time of its discovery, multiple people got sick, prompting the local Arab tribes to believe they disturbed a hidden deity. It is believed the mummy belonged to a prehistoric alien species that was driven away by humans. For years, this remained a secret. Until now. And since the KGB has long since broken up, we may never know the truth. Russian Mystery The now broken KGB's expedition in various areas unearthed quite a few alien creatures, which were also subjected to a series of tests and medical examinations. Here's a look into when scientists were trying to figure out if one of the mummies they found was truly an extraterrestrial, or some kind of prank. And it looks like they're pretty much convinced this creature is the real deal. The analysis revealed the creature had a similar bone structure to ours, but its skin and muscles varied. Well, creepy now, isn't it? Timber Trekker a hiker was recording the forest when he captured a strange figure almost blending in with the trees. The creature camouflaged with the trees so well that it would have gone unnoticed had it not moved. It seemed to be looking around for something, possibly waiting for someone of his own kind. The hiker quickly dipped out of view, so will unfortunately never know more. Russia's Puzzle Scientists have always conducted tests in secret. Here's one of them carefully examining the body of an alien that was allegedly discovered shortly after the appearance of a UFO in Russia in 1969. Although it looks a bit, well, artificial, the examination revealed this was a special type of alien with a textured, leathery skin. I'll spare you the gory details, but the nitty-gritty is that the alien had ribs just like us, but weirdly lacked any uniform organs. So they're still a big mystery, even if we have a few of them locked in a secret facility somewhere. Bark-Bound Visitor Here's another forest dweller that was captured a couple of years ago by a man hiking in a Peruvian forest. The alien was nervously looking around, as if it had just escaped the clutches of someone and was seeking shelter. Just as it noticed the man, the video cut off, which means either the hiker was too terrified to continue, or he was taken before he could record more. E.T. in Backyard In 2014, an American man kept hearing rustling from his backyard and saw two glowing eyes, so he picked up his Motorola and recorded this. The creature resembled an alien. It had a long, oval face and was peeking from behind the tall grass. The terrified man tried to ask what it wanted or why it was stalking him, but the alien remained silent, further freaking out the man. Eventually, the extraterrestrial retreated back into the grass, but I bet the man will have nightmares for the rest of his life. Unwelcome Visitor In 2009, during the recording of a segment in a Chilean mine, the cast of Destination Truth unexpectedly discovered the remains of a small creature that resembled no man or animal. After taking a few pictures, the mummy was transported to a research facility to find out the truth. They even conducted some sort of scan and found that despite looking like a mere prop, it turns out the mummy truly was a small humanoid creature, creating confusion about its identification, which has remained a mystery until today. Open Discussion In what might be the craziest proof of extraterrestrial existence, two men discovered the body of an alien in a forest clearing. The alien was in a miserable condition clearly having encountered some kind of predator. Although it looks like just a prop, 
Their dog was going crazy, so they knew whatever it was, was real and alive just a few hours ago. The duo debated what to do with the alien. They knew if authorities got wind of the situation, they'd be unjustly apprehended. So, they left it behind. When they returned the next day, it had disappeared, either picked up by an animal, or maybe, somehow, by secret agents. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.